for generations, Toronto has been a beacon of opportunity and an anchor of hope and growth. People born here stay here. People from other parts of Canada come here to fulfill their dreams. And people from the rest of the world choose Toronto because they want to be part of our success. This wonderful collection of people makes Toronto the great city that it is. And it's high time we involve more Torontonians in the electoral process. It's time we took passion and hope and turned them into action. Newcomers are our colleagues and our employers. Newcomers are our neighbors, our teachers, and our bus drivers. They pay property taxes, build our communities, and make us stronger. It's time to let them vote for the people who set their tax rates, their tax rates and make decisions on their behalf. Extending the municipal vote to permanent residents is both the right thing to do, it's the <laughs> While we are at it, let's engage all voters better. Since World War II, parti participation in elections has steadily declined, federally, provincially, and municipally. Yet we go on doing things the same old way. Toronto is the most connected population in the world. We're prolific Facebook and Twitter users. We overwhelmingly do our banking, shopping, and communicating online. Let's bring democracy into the digital age by allowing internet voting. Making voting accessible and convenient for an increasingly busy and connected population makes sense. There's an easy way to do this. Other jurisdictions already have. This will help engage with city building, and I want to lead this cause. That's why I'm running for mayor. Let's talk about opportunities. When I think about Toronto's past, present, and future, I think about Toronto as a caring city. A city that cares about the most vulnerable. A city that cares about seniors and students. A city that cares about fairness, equity, and opportunity. This is part of our history and it's part of our strength. I grew up in a neighborhood near Bloor and Dufferin. It was a wonderfully diverse neighborhood and it still is. There was a concrete playground between three apartment buildings where all of us played. Depending on who got there first, we played cricket, baseball, or hockey. But we all played together. And many of those kids I grew up with are still my friends today. And some of them are here tonight, ready to help out with this campaign. <laughs> this is the stuff Toronto is made of. These lessons of playing together are a model for working together. As many of you know, I was an archaeologist, and I like to learn from the past. Learning from experience is critical, and so is thinking forward. Our city in 10, 20, and 30 years will be shaped by the decisions we make today. We must view our actions through this lens. Right now, we have the power to influence climate change. Right now, we have the power to determine where we want Toronto to grow. And right now, we have the ability to control our own destiny. We've got, by making decisions today, based on lessons from the past, with the future in mind, we will create a great city. That's why I'm running. Toronto's priority neighborhood strategy has been an overwhelming success. It can be the foundation for doing even better. Through this initiative, we're making investments where they have the greatest return. We are building community centers where they are needed most. And we are bringing transit to areas that are isolated. We're encouraging private and corporate participation in youth programs where they'll have the greatest impact. And we're bringing community policing to more neighborhoods to make people feel safer because they are safer. And congratulations to Chief Blair on these successes. Yay. Our police force is now more visible and integrated with the city in priority neighborhoods, downtown, and even in the subways. This is connecting us together and making us safer. This is about creating more paths to success for every child, every teenager, and every person, regardless of where you live in Toronto. And this is why I'm running for me.
and I need your help. This will be a spirited campaign. <laughs> this election will be about hope for the future, not fear of the past. Yes. 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 Some candidates will tell you that we have to give up on building a great city. They will say, no, some will. They will say we have to stop what we're doing and walk away from ideas like Transit City. I'm not that candidate. I, I believe in the people I believe in the people of the city and the talent for creative city building. I believe in going forward, not backwards. And I believe that empty rhetoric about banging heads is not a vision of how you build this great city. Instead, we need to create a climate of innovation and excellence. That's the way you make a great city. Yeah. 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 Selling off our poor assets is not a vision. Right. Using them more effectively to unlock value and to create the greenest city in the world yeah. is. Yeah. And let's get on with it. So, I'm asking you to talk with your friends and neighbors. Get everyone thinking about our shared future and our shared opportunity. Get excited about the Toronto of tomorrow, where you can live in Scarborough and work in Etobicoke, and get to work quickly and hassle-free. Where all children, regardless of where they live in Toronto, have access to great schools, swimming pools, skating rinks, and the best library system in the world. Where you have a real choice for getting around. Where you can ride your bike without fear, or drive without gridlock. Where there's an audience for, an ama for, the, for our amazing arts community and support for their work. Where you can take transit to where you want to go or walk to what you need. Is that your Toronto? Yes! Yeah. 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 And I'll be honest, I don't have all the answers. But I'm committed to finding the solutions. I have ideas and I want to share them. You have ideas too, and I intend to listen to them. I will not be tied to the old ways of doing things just because we've always done them that way. I will not be afraid to do things differently in order to build the Toronto of tomorrow. And as your mayor, I will listen as I lead. Toronto is already a wonderful city. Let's make it even better. Toronto is a proud and successful city. Let's celebrate that pride and success. Toronto is one of the best places in the world to live. Let's make it even better. Now is the time, so let's get on with it. Thank you, Merci.